All right. Now for the fifth warp room. I'm not going to say final because there's already. I've already mentioned there's a secret warp room, and I'm. I'm avoiding go moving to the center of the main hub area for a specific reason. But now we have a second future level, and unfortunately, that's all we're gonna get. We're gonna get like a. We're gonna be able to go back. We're gonna go back to uh, these the future stages for like uh, the optional gems and all that. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny, but oh, okay. I was being overzealous, but yeah. Um, I just wish there was at least one more future level. But hey, I said that again with the uh, animal riding sections. I wish there was at least one more of those. I guess it just comes to the fact that there's only twenty. Well, there's only 25 regular levels. Really? Like... Really, I think there's actually exactly 30 levels, because the Secret Warp Room, I think, has three unique levels. And then there's the two super secret levels. And then that goes up to 30, so... This, the game says there's 32 levels, but it's kind of lying. Because two of the Secret Warp Room levels are just areas of pre-existing levels that you could just couldn't get to otherwise. But yeah, the, the uh, Fruit Bazooka is a really useful wep uh, weapon you can use. Using the, the using L2, but I prefer not to use it half the time. I like to just deal with obstacles on my own accord. But like using a, actually having a platforming challenge, because otherwise it just kind of feels cheap. But either way. Okay. I'll do stuff like that to speed up the process, but, you know. Okay, that no. Oh. <laughs> oh. If I didn't die, that would have been awesome. Okay. Too slow. I can't kill these things, can I? Nah. For some reason, I thought you could, like... I swear one time I, like... Well, well not those specifically, but... So in like the Star of Future Friends, you have all those things in the 3D section. I swear at one point I've destroyed those. I could be remembering that wrong. Yeah, we don't have the green gem, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. Okay. But yeah, this is just how I play the game. I just go through the through the game, get what I can. And then I go back and just do clean up, basically. I think it's honestly the best way to go about it. Because then you don't, don't have to worry about backtracking so much. You just get it out of the... Get all of it done when you know you have everything. Or when you know you have access to everything, anyway. Boy. No, 
actually ended this on a 3D section. Alright, no, no, no. Oh, this might be annoying. And I think they actually don't shoot as much rockets in the NTSC version. Which is kind of interesting. I think they only shoot three. Two or three. Yeah, boy. Four more to go. Oh. I forgot this was a 22. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I don't remember the stage out play hour at all, to be honest with you. Let's just hope that things go well. That's move. Are you just gonna Okay, screw you. Man, no, no, no. If I lose, whatever, I just want to at least get the gem. Okay. Alright. So far, I don't think this is that... I feel, I feel like this is actually easier than the second one. Simpler. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is the uh, police cars going left and right like that. Why would you even do that anyway? Like, that's probably what you should tell uh, drivers not to do. Not do that yourself. That was stupid. Maybe we can still get it. No. Oh my. Mm. Bruh. Why you do this to me? Yeah, I don't think we No, I forgot. Oh, okay, we got it. And he screwed me up. Lovely. I always think it's... I always forget what's, what it is first. Wait, are you kidding me? Oh no, I can not go in there anyway. Okay. Give me up. Let's see how I can... I highly doubt this is going to happen, but let's see if we can get the gem and the relic. At least we can restart. All things considered, I think this is possible. Alright. I don't understand, game. Okay. I wish there was like a drift or something. That would actually that would actually solve a lot of issues with this. 
unreal. I mean, I guess they had to put in a racing gimmick somewhere because of Crash Team Racing. And I believe they were working on it at the exact same time as this game. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's weird. Okay, ignore that. Yeah, of course. Okay. It's gonna be the left. I'm pretty sure I hit that. Yes, okay, let's see if this is enough. Two birds with one stone, let's go. Okay. an actual platform level so we should it should be oh my gosh that was <laughs> way too close yeah we should be a better now okay no I take full full fault for that yeah there's another death route here by the way so Okay. Try this again. Okay, don't you just attack. I mean, I could get rid of that guy, but I'm not going to. Alright. Don't you dare. I think it's actually, the death route is actually pretty close, so you don't even have to do much of a level to get to it. Now this can be pretty tricky. too hard. Okay, you have to keep pressing square. Alright. Okay. okay just do this. No, I was like, barely avoiding that. You know what, I'm not even gonna do that. Right. Yeah, missed. I almost missed that, that would've been funny. Hey. Okay. And you notice how they aren't really... I never noticed it until now, but yeah, they really... They're really stingy on 
masks at this point. I haven't really thought about it until now. Like, this game really doesn't give you that many masks in general. Like, even, like, I feel like even an early game. Like, have we even gone on invincibility yet? I don't think we have. Wow. I'm just finding more and more reasons why I think this game is harder. Because I'm pretty sure Crash 2 was pretty, uh, healthy with those things. Like, they spread them out pretty evenly. And I think even in the last War Room, they, were, they had a decent amount of them. I could be wrong about that, actually, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to do... Be really careful here, because I want to do a Death Warp. Like, seeing there's a Iron Crate checkpoint, it shows how... That this is gonna be a pretty lengthy Death route, but I want to do the Death Warp. So, I'm gonna have to... Kinda careful here! Okay. That's really dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, right. It sent you further in the level. I forgot. Okay, well, we're gonna kill ourselves anyway. anyway I may as well show this stuff off. Oh, you don't actually have touch damage with that guy, okay. Hmm. Okay, now we have the green gem. And I think with that... Yeah, we just need one more colour gem. Because it's not going to count until I beat the level. Oh, it's not even that further in, it's just like one box. Oh well. Yeah, screw you, scimitar. at night like I know it's the point but I kind of kind of getting a night palace vibe from just looking at looking at it but again I know that's the point like night palace is meant to look like uh, like an Aladdin uh, like an Arabian place at night so I get that's the point but I just it's just kind of cool looking Also, I don't think there's a nitro box in this stage, so make sure you- Wait, what? What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> well, thank goodness there's a counter in this. just say, like, or people watching just be like, no, go back, you're missing them. And then, awkwardly proceed to delete your comment, like, a minute after. Make sure you don't forget about that box up there because I've done that several times. I, mean, I don't know why, it's 
Not that it's hard to see, but yeah. Okay. Good. Very good. Coco, remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. Okay. <laughs> Now we're just gonna get some boxes. And even though there's less things to blow up, there's this is honestly much harder than the uh Coco one. I I feel like I guess the the, uh, the enemies are a lot more aggressive in this one, but it's also the fact that you have to uh destroy a specific part of these, uh, uh, these planes. You have to get the propellers, and then they just drop down. And there's only five of them, but still. That actually make, changes quite a bit, because then these guys have more of a chance to uh, intercept you. Alright. No, what? That was weird. I like, got pushed back like 10 feet. Alright, just get that one. Damage? Is that what it? That might be it. I could be wrong. Maybe every bullet counts as two hit points in this, and Coco's is only one. Maybe. Yeah, boy. All right. I have no idea what the strategy is for the for the time trial, but. Hopefully we get the uh, a good enough time. That face though, man. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna spam the barrel roll. Okay, so we can actually aim this right. And come on. This is the 
didn't go too well. Yeah, now I can get this. Okay. This is a good enough time because this feels kind of slow. Oh, come on, I thought I was going to have it. Okay, yeah, it's flying to me, so it decreases time a little bit. too slow I feel like when it's like I feel like I'm not I'm gonna get a sapphire at best I get a platinum like what <laughs> I don't even okay so final well final level of the main uh, stages I guess and it's another Egyptian level but this time it's at night and it as a gimmick that's from, uh, well you'll see, but every, I guess, every Crash Trip, every level, every game in the, uh, for the original trilogy has to have at least one of these stages. So, so, uh, we need to come up with one more level. Uh, let's, let's just make another dark level. Because now we have the bugs again. But thankfully, this this is actually a lot easier than those the dark stages in Crash 2. And Crash 1 for that matter. But yeah, you see, again, like this is what I mean about... Um, level themes like feeling different even if it's like the actual the same level theme you know now we need one more color gem for that because I crash too um, that's gonna be a color gem gauntlet as you as you will so we're gonna just have to ignore it for now and I think this is the first time we actually go on invincibility which is kind of funny. Alright. Okay, I'm not gonna get that just yet. Move ahead. Go on ahead. Just break as many boxes as possible by doing this. Because it doesn't give you enough time. This the bugs don't give you enough time for you to be able to comfortably do this. Without doing without doing that. And that. Like even now, look, like already vanished and we're good I guess if they had a uh, second dark level like that, well, they technically do, and it's like the worst level in the. I kind of want to say the entire series, honestly. But with the bugs, this is the only level you're gonna see with. You're, this is the only dark level you're gonna see. 
But yeah. We just have to fight Cortex now. Now we've done more or less everything we can. Like you can get the gold relics with without the ability you're gonna get with this, but it's a lot harder and it's just better to just wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage, incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious! But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy! Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you! <laughs> Crash Bandicoot for the last time! Give the crystals to me! Alright. Now, final boss time. Technically speaking, because we have to fight him again. But yeah, basically how this goes is that you can't have an Aku Aku Master in this at all. It doesn't matter if you brought one beforehand, because he's always going to fight Uka Uka, and the two are going to do a different attack every during every uh, like every time. Well, it's like you get Cortex down one health bar, then it'll do another attack, and the fight will proceed as that. Cortex himself will just shoot like three red bullet things, throw a bunch of mines and his shield goes down. I don't know why he doesn't chew out faster because we've seen in Crash 1 he can chew a lot faster than this so I don't know. Like may either those are like super powerful bullets but uh, Yeah, I'd say this is the best Cold Cortex fight in a series. Like, it could still be a lot better. Again, I think it, it's a little bit too easy for a final boss, and I think it would be better if they had a second final boss for 100% completion. But I think it's decent enough for what it is, and it's at least a hell of a lot better than the one, the one in Crash 2. Um, Crash 1 feels a bit more personal because it's just you and Cortex, but I think this is the most fun final Cortex fight. And yeah, we get speed choose. But now we're going to get a... I guess you could call it a bad ending, if anything. But yeah. Defeated again? This is not fair! Maybe I should retire to a nice big beach with a nice big drink and a woman with nice big bags of ice for my head. Yeah, boy. <laughs> not over Bandicoot. There are uh, still uh... the gems. We still have a chance to triumph. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for the... For, I don't, don't even want to say first half because... Second half is not even. We did a lot of the stuff, and well, I guess you, uh, for lack of a better word, I'm gonna call, gonna call it the second half of the game. So, yeah, we're not done with this game just yet. We need to get all the gems, get the rest of the rest of the products and all that. So, yeah, there's still some stuff to do with this game, but yeah, as for now, just gonna have to sit through the credits. So. Yeah, I don't want to do final thoughts yet, because we're not done.
I don't know why they... They made it so the music in this is like... Super quiet because it's... It's like trying to... It's like acting like it's... Do, in a cutscene and it's... Lowering it over voices and stuff. But like, during the credits... There's no one talking, so I don't know why they did that. Like, why didn't they just like... Up the volume again? I don't know. Nitpick, but... I like this theme. I... I think it's the best Cortex theme as well. Like... Sets the mood and it's... Definitely a fitting fitting finale for the trilogy, I think. Again, could be harder, but hey, you have you live with what you have, I guess. And that's it. So, if I it's gonna have to send me back, but yep. I like how Crash always does that. Like that's how that happens. I think that happens when you die, or you leave a walk, leave to the warp room manually. But I just find that funny how you do that when you fight defeat a boss. But now we're gonna. Oh yeah, you see that thing there. But first, I'm just gonna save real quick. Save game. Uh, I'll save over boy. <laughs> I don't even remember what that was. What that's? I don't even remember what that was for. Okay, so just before I wrap this session up, if we go here. I don't even remember. I don't even know how many relics we have at this point. We have an entirely new warp room and. Okay. Ratchet's running out. Good timing. Area 51. Yeah, that, that stage can go to hell. Alright. But yeah, we have... This is a new stage. This is a new stage. And this is... But these two, you see the names? Future Frenzy and... Hang em High. Those are already stages we've been to. So... Let's see our progr progress, actually. All the crystals, obviously. All the powers. Missing one color gem. 25 gems overall. And 11 relics. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Alright. But with that, that's going to be it for this session. Join me next time where we get all the remaining relics and gems. And finish off the game for good. See you guys then. Peace.